I'm going to stick to my guns. They should rename this show from True Detective to Truly Defective. Yes, I have been watching True Defective now, and I'm on episode three. I think this one's called Toxicity, and I am now asking myself, why am I watching this show other than to hate watch it or just give you my opinion? I do actually have a couple of points to make about this episode um, that I'm hoping maybe will change somebody's mind out there. And I'm not saying, hey, if you like the show, that's fine. But I'm going to point out some serious flaws, especially in the thinking of the people who created this. So anyway, we have a third episode, which is uh, truly, truly boring. Again, um, if I didn't say so, I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. Catch our live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. It's a good time. Head by all. Like, subscribe. You know the thing. Anyway. Let's get into this because I'm going to pick a couple fights here that maybe some people won't agree with. But after having sat through all of Echo and now I'm watching this too and they're talking about natives and, and uh, you know things like that, there's some questions that need to be answered by people. And I think uh, we need to think real hard about what we're doing here. So... We're, we're still, we still haven't figured out by the third episode whether or not a murder has in fact taken place. Uh, we know one murder's happened because there's a woman who was stabbed 32 times in a cold case from several years prior to this. But there are six dead men in the ice. Uh, seven, if you count the one, well, whatever, we'll get to that part. There will be spoilers for this, but who cares? Um, yeah, there's a bunch of dead dudes in the ice. So... I guess they answered one of the questions. One of the questions was whether or not people actually heard that this guy was still alive. Or the, there was a guy who was screaming when they had the when they had them get out of the ice, and I wasn't sure if it was real or if it was imagined because nobody reacted to it. They didn't call an ambulance. They just like panned away from it. I'm supposed to understand what happened there. Well, either I wasn't paying attention, which is distinctly possible, or they just decided not to tell us. But this guy's in the hospital at this point, so one of the guys lived. So they could question him. He answers no questions, by the way. Um, but what they want to talk about in this episode is that the community is being poisoned by its biggest employer. Okay, so this is like anti-mining. There's like this weird anti-mining thing going on. But here's my first bone to pick. Um, this young they're, they're talking about this young activist who, who stabbed 32 times. And I, who, whose memory haunts the living? Oh, I don't even... What, what are they even talking about? It's so powerful to meet Annie when she's associated with life. Thanks to the flashback where, you know, Navarro, the one detective, the, the trooper, goes in to arrest her because she's been vandalizing the mine. You know the place that employs everybody. And the town literally would not exist without the mine, right? There just wouldn't be a mine. There would be nothing. There would be no town. And so what I don't understand, and, th and this is just this is one of my things, why are we pet why are we fetishizing these indigenous practices or whatever? You know, I, they, they actually make a mention of somebody and their, their, their child is born is stillborn. So th this woman's giving this water birth, right? And look, you give birth however you want, but fetishizing it because it, it's a it's some sort of like in Na in Naku, whatever they're they are, whatever type of indigenous people they are, why are we fetishizing this like birth practice? There were perfectly good hospitals around. The kid is born and isn't breathing, and they're like, sometimes they don't. They just take some time for them to breathe. How about you take them to a hospital where they will breathe, and the children will will survive? One of the greatest advances in modern medicine is the fact that. Parents or mothers don't die in childbirth, and children don't die in childbirth. It's one of the reasons why um, the longevity has changed in modern culture. People always assume there were no old people in the past. People didn't live to 30. That's not what happened. People lived into their 60s and 70s in the past. The, the reason why the birth, why the, age, the average age of everyone is so different 
from the old times to new times is baby mortality. When you die at zero or you die at one, you skew the charts low. So it looks like everybody lived until the 30s. They didn't. It's not how it worked in the past. So get that out of your head. So them fetishizing this is just irritating to me. Uh, they did the same thing in freaking Echo where it's like, you have an indigenous people, and their indigenous practices are so much better than modern medicine. Really? Then maybe the babies wouldn't be dying. Stop. Regular, I'm sure if you asked regular indigenous people, regular Indians, they're like, yeah, we go to a hospital. We don't just like go out in the woods. Because that's what they did in Echo. The one woman, she's having trouble giving birth, and they don't go to the modern hospital. They go out in the woods, and she has a baby in the rain. Really? Really? Is this what we're doing now? We, we can't believe that these people ha believe in modern medicine, that they can't go to hospitals, they can't afford them or something? Is that what you're saying? You're saying they're not good enough to go there? Like, I don't understand. What's the point of this? So anyway, that's just the first scene. The rest of it, really not much. They, they, the strongest hour to date, this was the worst hour. This was so boring, absolutely nothing happens. It, it, it's just so terrible. I can't even describe. I cannot believe anybody thinks this is good. It, it's it's so ridiculous. There's racial line. What are they even talking about? There's I, none of this makes sense. So anyway, um, they go searching for more information. They don't learn anything new. In fact, the way they get one of their leads is through. Annie's hair dye and there must be only one hairdresser in town so she must know where she was really this is your this is your great detective work really ridiculous uh, none of this it, it, it doesn't add to anything I don't like any of the characters there's not a single character I'm rooting for I, I just hope they all die in the winter like there's one cool guy who is ice fishing who seems to be pretty nice he takes care of dogs. He's nice to Navarro. The, everybody's so mean to everybody out here. You know, look, they even talk about it. Like, the bow that ties everything together is that there was another uh, Inupiaq baby, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not, but it's fine. You don't have to pronounce what I'm from either properly. I don't care that much. Um, but they're saying they're, the mine is having stillborns. Okay, maybe if you went to the actual hospital, you wouldn't have stillborns. Because, you know, the sink water's polluted. So are you giving water bursts and polluted water? Like, what are you, what are we, what are we even talking about here? They can't even tell you anything interesting. Like this whole, like that's it. And they bring in a veterinarian. There are seven, six people dead. And they can bring in a veterinarian who doesn't do anything other than look at them. And he goes, oh, this is the dumbest line of the entire season. I'm just a vet, a vet, but I've seen caribou die of plain fright, running, terrified. These scientists, they look the same. They didn't die. They didn't freeze to death. Really? I don't think they froze to death while they were clawing their own eyes out and biting themselves. Do you think they froze to death? Does that make sense? You just stop moving slow? Like, come on. This is just, all of this is dumb and pointless. Please explain to me why I should watch more of this show. Other than it's a bunch of people trying to fetishize indigenous cultures. It's one thing to celebrate them or like let's let's hear a little bit about their like what's going on in their culture. But it's the same thing they did with Echo where they just wear it like it's a skin suit. And they just say it in name and show you absolutely nothing. It, have we learned anything about the culture whatsoever? Or like I would just love to hear how the people interact with each other. Wouldn't that be nice for a change where they actually do something instead of nothing so anyway let me know what you think i i, I can't i don't know why i'm still watching the show i don't even care about the mystery at this point because they don't seem to care that much about it they're too busy being mean to their kids like making her take off her her her, her you know she ink the one daughter inks these tattoos on her chin like who cares if that's what she wants to do is that how deep the culture goes it'd be nice if they explained why they're important to her but they don't. It's a fashion statement? Like she got a tattoo or got earrings or something? Like what are we talking about here? Give us some textual context. Give us anything other than what we're getting. Because as of right now, this is a giant waste of time. 
So let me think. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. You cannot keep, uh, you know, tricking yourself into thinking that this is real. You don't get virtue points for watching this. You don't get virtue points for celebra uh, celebrating the fetishization of native cultures. That's not the way this works. So anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would appreciate it. I do enjoy dialogue. Let's not scream at each other. Let's have a nice conversation if we can. Um, tell me I should stop watching this. That's fine. Maybe I won't. But you guys keep uh, interacting and keep watching it. So I do appreciate it. I would appreciate a like and subscribe if you like what I do here. I just don't rant at the wind. But uh, thank you again for watching. Oh, this one aggravated me. Sorry, folks. But I am on to the next one. <laughs>